welcome to the BetQL Daily Boost. I'm Lucy Burge of BetQL.com, and I am joined by Kate Constable and Matt Horner. And we have a Monday Night Football odds boost for all of you today. Two games tonight, but this one is on Jordan Love to have over 249 and a half passing yards and over 19 and a half rushing yards. Boost it to plus 850 at Caesars. What do we think of this odds boost? I like this odds boost. I like the passing part of this odds boost. Jordan Love has gone over this number in four of his last five games. The only game he didn't uh, was against the Rams uh, back in early November. And I mean, when I say gone over this number, like he's gone well over this number. Uh, 267, 268 in his last two, 322, almost 300 against Pittsburgh. It's the rushing part of this that concerns me a little bit because Love is not a, a big scrambling mobile quarterback he likes to kind of sit in the pocket so not a ton of rushing attempts per game um over his last couple and the giants actually give up the fewest rushing attempts to opposing quarterbacks so this is the part of this parlay which is why it is uh boosted to plus 850 but you know maybe he gets a scramble or two against a bad giants defense and you're able to hit this but um that's the the part of this that i'm a little skeptical on but again plus 850 sprinkle a little uh beer money on this mat and, and see what happens exactly you uh you couldn't have uh, i couldn't say it any better myself than exactly how you explained it uh yeah love has been dominating honestly it's really sad to see as a chicago bears it is. fan it is. that the packers uh, seem to be developing a quarterback again and we can't well you know fields has been playing well recently but i was gonna say just... the bears bears are kind of hot right now we might yeah, be back well, matt we might Cleveland's, be back. De- Cleveland's back. defense at home next week. Ugh, I don't know how well that's going to be. But uh, anyway, Jordan Love, yeah, I think he can get over this passing prop. Again, we're just talking about his rushing yards. That is uh, questionable to happen, but that's why you're getting this massive 8 to 1, 850 uh, to 1, or 8 to 1 odds, 8. Plus 850. There we go. Yeah. Now I'm saying it correctly. <laughs> yeah, not 850 to one. Yeah, I'd definitely take that. Okay. <laughs> that would be. Oh god. Yeah, just, yeah, but... just, just sprinkle it. Just sprinkle it a little bit. We'll put someone there, and uh, I think uh, we have a good chance. Yeah, put it in a parlay. That's 850 to one. You could win. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you Why go. not? Why not? Plus 850. Yeah, exactly. Be better Perfect. than that. We're rooting for Jordan Love, that in that case. And plus 850 at Caesars. Yeah. Get it on that and get up to $1,500 back in bonus bets on your first wager at BetMGM by entering code Lucy1000 when you sign up for a new BetMGM account now. And head to betql.com, get your free three day trial today, and check out our exclusive sports book offers there as well. And of course, follow us on X at sharp underscore side underscore at Kate Con- and at Lucille Burge. Favorite bets for tonight, I am going to the Dolphins-Titans game and I am taking the Dolphins minus 14 against the Titans because the Dolphins have covered the spread in their last two games. The Titans have failed to cover four of their last five. I know it's Will Levis and I hate rooting against him, but I, I kind of, I cannot see... The Titans really doing a ton against the Dolphins, who are iffy, but they have covered multiple double-digit spreads already this season. They're 8-4 and four against the spread. Titans are 5-7. The Dolphins are averaging 32 points scored per game. The Titans are averaging far fewer at 17 points scored per game. So I see the Dolphins uh, beating the Titans by at least two touchdowns here, minus 14. That's probably uh, pretty fair based on kind of how these two teams are trending. Uh, I'm going to go over to the other Monday Night Football game and take the Giants team total under 14 and a half. Uh, this Tommy DeVito stuff has been cute. It's been great the last couple of games. They've, they've won their last two, but I think it ends tonight. Um, over those last two games, 27 of the Giants' 41 points have come off of turnovers. And since the Packers have kind of turned things up a notch, they haven't turned the ball over over the last three games. Jordan Love, 8 to 0 touchdown to interception ratio. So I don't see them uh, allowing New York too many extra opportunities. And this Packers pass rush is going to be an issue for DeVito and company because DeVito's been sacked 15 times in the last two games. Giants have 69 sacks on the season, which is 11 more than the next closest team. So I think the Packers pass rush is going to just not allow the Giants to move the ball downfield, at least through the air. That leads, you know, Saquon Barkley to have to do everything. And as good as Saquon is, his numbers have been down lately. He only has one rushing touchdown on the season. So I don't think the Giants are scoring a whole lot tonight. It also kind of goes with the unders trends on uh, primetime Monday night football games. So Giants team total under 14 and a half. 
there you go. Absolutely love it. Uh, I am going to go to next week in the NFL. Last week I gave out, I was on the show three times and I gave out three winners. Ooh, the Bears plus three and nice. a half. Nice. Yay, Matt. Very yep, the nice. Bears plus three and a half. I gave the Cowboys in a parlay with the Ravens money line. Uh, or you could take the Dolphins tonight, so that wouldn't have cashed. But I mean, the Dolphins money line is it's looking pretty good. And uh, then I gave out the Bengals plus one on Friday. So all those cashed. Let's see if we can cash for this weekend coming up. I'm taking the Buffalo Bills on the money line against the Dallas Cowboys uh, next week. I love this one because the Bills are starting to gain a bit of momentum now. Uh, they beat the Chiefs. They have two wins in a row here. And they're just a team that I think is undervalued at this point. Uh, and they're going up against a Cowboys team that has never been higher in the market. People are starting to love the Cowboys now. Uh, I know I have them as my Super Bowl pick, and I still love that. Uh, but this is the time, I think, to start to fade them a little bit here now that they're riding high uh, after destroying the fraudulent Eagles. Uh, so I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills on the money line next week against the Cowboys. I got that at minus 126 over at Fandle. So nice. I like Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bill's kind of on a roll here, just like Matt is. Very nice. What a good week there. So get in on all of this and the odds boost plus 850 at Caesars and subscribe to the BetQL Daily Boost wherever you get your podcast.